Okay, guys. It's official. I'm going to run for vi executive vice president. Yay! Yay! I'm running for vice president, Dana. Our school. Said, That's cool. Yeah. After debating and going back and forth for a couple days now, my mind has pretty much been set since day one. I will be running for executive vice president of my university students union. I'm so 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 excited for this opportunity. Um I was dead set yesterday, actually I was dead set on Friday, today is Monday by the way, January 9th, on running. That's when I found out and I was like, okay I'm doing it, then all weekend I talked about it and then today I found out I had to take a, well I will, uh, well I have a possibility I guess of taking a leave of absence for two weeks during my campaign and I don't get paid so like, ugh. but it's not only that I don't get paid, it's like two weeks, I don't go to work, and that is crazy because I literally live at work, like my home's at work, like the comfy couch is at work, my office is cute at work, I get all my work done at work, school work too, like I stay more than my office hours, I'm always there, my best friend works there, she can't help out on the campaign, um, but it has been decided that I am going to do this. And I just realized I could have had way better lighting right now. Maybe not. Is that too bright? But yeah, I'm really excited and I can't wait to take you on this journey. 2017, I decided was going to be a, another great year. So what better way to start it than by stepping outside my comfort zone, which is something I want to do more often and running for executive vice president of the union. I think that is a great opportunity. It's one I will really enjoy and really like. I have a lot of support on this. I have a lot of great ideas. And as much as I want it to happen, if it does not happen, it's a great experience to just have me running for it. It puts me out there more and in all honesty, I don't know, I just, I have a good feeling about this. I'm really excited. Nomination sheets are picked up on Wednesday. They have to be in by the 24th. And I'm just going to run my paper the way it is now. And hopefully, 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 the election goes well and I get this position. But I really want to document this because I never documented my other job processes a little bit with the Cancer Society but not really with me getting the Caper Times job and basically I just want to look back on all of these videos I make when I'm older and be like wow look look how far I've come like right now I am literally living it's pretty messy but I'm living in a apartment and yeah like I don't know, I'm just, I'm really, I'm really happy right now and I want to document that and I don't think I am jinxing myself, I just, I'm documenting what's going on and I wish I did this more for a lot of things in my life, but I didn't, so it's never too late to start and I'm so excited to see where this takes so I picked up my nomination sheet today and have to get a hundred signatures. It's crazy, but I'm so excited for this journey and we shall see where it takes me. Um, yeah, I'll get back to you later. So today was the first polling day and it was also the 
debate day because I got pushed back due to two snowstorms and I hope this lighting's okay but I think it went pretty decent sorry I'm gonna shut my door because it's a little noisy um here's my outfit I don't know if you can see but I wore my lucky blue dress from Maurice's and a blazer and ponty hose um because it's winter and really cold but um there's a storm coming so as long as there's school tomorrow fingers crossed like i want school so bad um tomorrow night i will find out the result on the election and i really 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 want this more than anything um the debate went okay but it was honestly such a weird debate like no one really argued um yeah it was kind of not what i expected but i made it through I prepared so hard for the debate I wrote a killer intro and conclusion but it wasn't exactly what I don't think they were looking for so I changed it literally as I heard people go I changed it also I literally prepare for so many debate questions and um, all the debate questions I liked weren't asked towards me uh, there is this website and it's like 100 questions or 102 or something. I think it might be 102 to ask your students union um, vice president or presidential candidates. And I literally memorized all of them um, or it came up with answers. I've been practicing for days. None of those were on there, which I expected, but I just wanted to get used to like the questions that are being asked. One of the questions I literally had no idea and I felt so stupid and I was like, I actually know this. But I've had people tell me they're going to vote for me, so... Low key, when the lighting's like this, it's so bad. But is it better this way? I'm trying to, like, look in the mirror behind me. Or is it worse? I don't know. Because in my last clip, I hopefully, like, I can edit out, like, the full-on, like, fluorescentness from before. But guys... Ah! I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Low key and panicking, but I shall live. We'll see. Uh, school was canceled this morning, and although classes are back on for this afternoon and this evening, unfortunately the poll date has been pushed back until after reading week, so I cannot resume going back to work tomorrow or reading week I just get to chill out here um low-key disappointed I this has been pushed back way too long I was supposed to find out the results last night and now I have to wait another week <laughs> um obviously I'll wait like there's nothing well I mean I'm pretty sure we could have done it today but there's nothing I can do now um, I'm just going to be supportive of the executive decisions that were made over this because if I end up getting EVP, I will have to follow all the decisions that are made regardless if I like them or not. But if I get EVP or even if I don't, I really want to fight to fix this whole election process. It's a little weird for me. I don't understand why, um, like... It get, you had it right before reading week when this could happen then you're getting it pushed back even further that's not fair to anyone especially when you have people that had to take leave of absences from their current jobs because it's not even about the money it's just about being now I will have been a month away from my job <laughs> and as a workaholic um, a month is detrimental uh, I, although I've been non-stop busy with this campaign and with just life in general, I just don't think that this should have happened. So I'm going to go get ready because I'm going to have a half day lunch date with some friends and then hopefully, hopefully, hopefully go grocery shopping. I was supposed to cover two labs and I'm not, all my classes were canceled for the two day because I basically just take morning classes and yeah. And just gonna move on, but we shall see. This is just now a month long process, so uh, I guess the good thing is um, we would have had to take a week of silence 
um, but they're not making us doing that. They're encouraging us to still campaign on social media because we need people to go out and vote. And I don't know. I'll have a week to do nothing. I hate being bored, but my friends are gonna have to take shifts to deal with me and do fun things with me because I'm going stir crazy. Um, we had two snow days this week, so I was stuck in the house. Well, actually, I was stuck in for three days because one day was a weekend and I didn't leave. And I actually went so crazy, I can't handle it. Yesterday, I was out and about all day, eight till four. And today, well, I got to sleep in, but I'm leaving because I can't go stir crazy. So, yeah. Fingers crossed, everything continues on going well. I have to go get ready. I'm literally just gonna throw my hair up and put on minimal makeup and get ready for today. So, yeah, I'll talk to you soon. So, tomorrow is the big day finally where I find out the election results as long as weather holds up. Um, super excited. I'm also kind of nervous. I have a full day ahead of me tomorrow. I have class for the first time in like almost two weeks because of the snow days and break. And I actually am facilitating two labs tomorrow. And then the rest of the day I'm going to be campaigning. Then I have to attend a event, if it's still going on I believe, um, where we find out the results. But I have tests I need to study for so I'm going to bring my stuff hopefully and study there as well as just wait to find out. I am so excited that the day has almost arrived because it's been a long time coming. It's been delayed for a long time, almost two weeks, and I'm just ready for it to be over. Um, this is a really fun experience, don't get me wrong, but it turn into a month process versus three weeks so I'm just excited to see the result I mean fingers crossed and I hope I get it I want it really bad I have to go hand out all these business cards tomorrow as well I forgot to email my prof so I might do that and ask if I can speak to the class and tell them to go vote for me and just vote in general so I'm gonna do that now it's kind of late I'll see if he responds and yeah catch you up later it's 2 29 a.m and i'm still wide awake 2 30 now everything leads down to today I know you really can't see anything, but I don't know. I'm, I knew it was going to be hard to fall asleep tonight. I didn't know I'd be falling asleep. So we got that seven today, and I guess I'm a little stressed. Coffee is going to get me through today. It's going to be a very long day, most likely. And yeah, crazy, crazy, crazy times. <sighs> I'm really gonna try and go to bed now. Let's hope everything is okay. And I will talk to you later. I'm not sure how much I even slept, but it's pretty clear that I'm up now. So yeah. Might as well get two days started.
original seat. Jenna Bernard did was successful in getting her seat. Um, for the professional studies seat, uh, Jacob Daly was successful in, in being reelected. Uh, for the science seat, Amanda Nicholson was successful in being reelected. And for the international seat, where there was three individuals running and two of them were winning, uh, would be elected. The, the winners are uh, Manet Patel and Tajmeen Sharma. So for the executive vice president, uh, I do want to say that I think it's one of the closest counts we've ever come across. Uh, one of the closest counts I've ever heard of in a student's election. Um, so with 54% of the vote, Brooklyn Galbraith is your next uh, with for the presidential one uh, with 174 votes your next student union president is Eleanor Sidley Congratulations to those who were unsuccessful. I do encourage you all to stay involved uh, with the Students Union and also even run for different things in the uh, by-election in October. Um, I hope everybody's having a good night. I hope the wait goes too Apparently people are having a good night. I got Vice President, Executive Vice President of CDUSU. I am so excited. Oh my gosh, I've been up for well over 36 hours now. I am just freaking out. I'm overtired. I'm so excited. I probably should not have had a uh, smear of ice, but whatever. I have class at 8.40. Again, I did not sleep at all last night. I need to try and sleep a little bit tonight. If media, I, oh my gosh, like I, I cannot believe this. I am so beyond excited right now. Oh my gosh. I want to thank everyone who voted for me and all my supporters. I'm so excited. Uh, I posted this on my Snapchat about me getting it. Um, I'll announce it on Facebook tomorrow. I'm so, so, so excited. Oh. Oh my gosh. Ah. Oh my gosh. I need to breathe. That was so nerve wracking. Um, I like called everyone. I emailed everyone. I'm just, I'm beyond excited. This is great. I'm sorry. I'm scrolling through things right now. Um, Oh my gosh, I cannot, I cannot believe this. This is so great. I'm so beyond excited. I think I'm over hungry right now too. I really just need to sleep and I'll wake up and it'll be a new glorious day. I can go back to work at the union. I can, I can do everything again. I'm so excited. It was, it was a long battle, but it's finally done and I... I am beyond excited and yeah. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Um, I really need to go to sleep. I have a midterm tomorrow and a lot of stuff to do. Uh, I had pretty much a week off school before the break. So, you know, I haven't done anything in so long, but I'm like, I'm so happy right now. I'm so content. I thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, everything. This, this is great. I'm so happy. Like my friends, some of my friends were there to witness it for me, with me, and I can't even talk. I was like shaking. I was so excited. I was hugging everyone. I just can't. I need, I need to go to sleep. It's bedtime. I literally have been up for over 36 hours right now. So yes. I'm getting all these texts and messages and snaps and I'm super excited so yeah I'll catch up a little later and yeah this was the entire VP election process without 
I mean, it lasted well over a month, but in the end it was worth it because I... VP elect, yes! <laughs>